Hey guys, welcome to The Flash, Season 3, Episode 1, Flashpoint Review. Now, this is insane. This is possibly one of the greatest episodes I've seen so far. Obviously, we start off right where Barry ended, which is the new Earth, or not the new Earth, but the new point of the timeline for him, which is he has both of his parents back. He has a good job. He has a career. The people like Iris doesn't really know him that well, so he has to reintroduce himself. But if you really think about it, Barry has been in this new time frame for a while now because he has a great relationship with his parents and he has a career. So it's pretty weird to kind of see that he still has some of his memories from back then yet he spent majority you know he kind of grew up in this new uh time frame anyways so then we get reintroduced we get introduced to kid flash which is pretty cool to see that i was kind of pumped for that i mean kid flash seems very childlike which is uh, it's not a pun or anything it's just like he doesn't have the maturity level that the flash has so that's pretty interesting meanwhile kid flash is the flash in that in this flashpoint so that's cool to kind of um think about and of course barry starts reconnecting with the people he once knew in his real time frame and he tries to convince them that things aren't what they seem of course they don't want to believe them because for them they're living in the right time frame it's barry who's out of the time frame and uh and of course, what the common enemy for this episode is alchemy. Now, he looks cool, but like I gotta admit, his costume's a little ridiculous. He looks like a bat. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he just called himself Flash Bat or Bat Flash or something like that. Overall, anyways, just the point is, this episode also gives us more to chew on. Not only does he have to reconnect with Cisco Ramon, who is hilarious as a multi-billionaire who actually turns out to be helping Kid Flash. And what I love about this is that Kid Flash and his sister actually work together as crime fighters. Now, that is one of the coolest things I've, I've seen so far, heard so far from this show. And of course, um, uh... Iris's dad doesn't even know it, Joe. So that's pretty, that's another twist there. So Alchemy seems to be one of, like, he seems to be a formidable foe, which is kind of good, but at the same time, I'm sick and tired of these Flash versions of bad guys. We need a whole new thing going on. I'm hoping Alchemy is only here for maybe four more episodes, and that's it. Because we just need something else. We need a bigger threat to kind of run things in the background. I mean, for for example, towards the end, the teaser for the end here, we get someone whispering. Um, we get some. We get this voice whispering for its new host to wake up and take on the uh, villain Alchemy. So. Who is that whispering that? Is that just the the speed force, the evil speed force, or is there someone else behind that? So that's another question in itself. Um, oh my gosh. What really got me was just the fact that Barry had to go back to Reverse Flash and tell Reverse Flash to kill his mother. And Reverse Flash has the nerve, oh, he is so evil, to make Alan say those words. I want you to say it to me. I want to hear it. And the Flash has to say, I want you to kill my mother. Oh, that's gut-wrenching. That is the most hardest, scariest thing. I, I, I just could not believe it. Just imagine if you were in that position. That's insane. So, of course, even though Barry and... Even though Barry and Kid Flash... Well, okay, Barry... Even though Barry kicked... Uh, Alchemy's ass. I mean, the what's his name? Kid Flash has just been impaled. I mean, this Alchemy guy is kind of, you know, what I wouldn't say he's powerful. I just, what I would say is the Flash 
and Kid Flash need to stop turning around or turning away from their opponents. Because we all know that bad guys like to stab people in the back, no pun intended. So that's a lesson that needs to be learned in this, <laughs> in this universe, I guess you can say. But anyway, honestly, this, this episode gave us something to chew on, but at the same time, like, will we return back to this time frame or timeline or is this it for this timeline you see like i kind of like okay <laughs> i kind of like the cisco ramon from this timeline he's pretty cool though caitlin is an eye doctor and i was hoping that she was something else like a cardiologist or something um and she just you know hey is it will can I have permission to leave now? So that was kind of weird, but also, I guess, kind of funny at the same time. Um, I love that Iris, even in this world, Iris is the focal, is the, the source of morale and the source of strength for Barry. That's pretty interesting. But at the same time, it's like, is Iris a meta? Does she have the ability to bring out the best from other metas? Like, all she has to do is say something inspiring, and all of a sudden, the Flash, aka Barry Allen, is on it. Like he, it clicks in his brain. Very fascinating. And honestly, Barry needs to start making those tornadoes because those tornadoes were awesome. I mean, you'll end tons of bad guys by doing that. But seriously, guys, this episode was like this is one for the books. I can't wait for episode two because episode two will still kick off in this new new time or in this in his regular timeline but guess what things are not what they seem and reverse flash does remind him that you know i mean for once i'm kind of confused i don't know if i missed it but like now iris no longer talks to joe so that kind of caught me off guard like why what's going on so we have yet to learn about that honestly Guys, this episode is something to rewatch over again because you'll catch some newer things, some new lines you didn't catch, some some new little quirks and new little um, Easter eggs. So, anyways, thanks for listening, and let me know in the comments section what you thought about the episode. And this is a very, 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 very quick review. I'm so sorry. I just had to review as soon as I was done watching. But anyways, thanks for listening. Bye.